every once in a while, I manage to struggle out of bed early enough to watch those magic fingers of morning light reaching out over the Gulf Stream, over our city, still and clear and quiet, and on into the Everglades country, which is our backyard, announcing the arrival of another brand new, warm and beautiful day. And all the living creatures begin to stir. And in just a little while, the city has rubbed the sleep out of its eyes and begins to hum. This is West Palm Beach, my home. It seems as though the beginning of every new day in my city is a little bit clearer and brighter than the last, holding forth the promise of something special. Like today, for example. One reason I got up so early this morning was to go down to Pier 2 and watch those big boats making their final tune-ups for the Gateway Marathon. Forty or fifty of the world's fastest ocean-going racing craft getting ready to move into starting position and battle it out. This race gets bigger and better every year. Well, they're off to a mighty good start. On their way to churn up 90 miles of Blue Atlantic between here and Grand Bahama Island, and then back again the next day. It's a great sport, and it takes a lot of courage to be an ocean race driver. The going can get plenty rough, and the boats and the crews take a real pounding. It's really too bad that they can't all win, but it's the competition that counts with them, and that makes the spectators and the people of West Palm Beach the real winners. Well, they're leaving us behind. So while they're off on their great adventure, the rest of us turn back to enjoy our boats and the water and the sun, just as we do all year round in a thousand different ways. Owning a boat is just about as common as owning a TV set in these parts. If you prefer the surf to the briny deep, there are 43 miles of golden beaches. And for the golf hound, there's the West Palm Beach Country Club and 15 other courses in the area. The city of West Palm Beach has no less than 40 parks, 368 acres. And believe me, there's something to do for everyone. Whether you go for a lively workout on the courts or something a little less vigorous. For those who prefer their sports of the spectator variety, our new million dollar stadium is the training home of the Atlanta Braves.
then there are the quiet places for an afternoon stroll or a picnic. And for the whole family, one of the most wonderful and unique farm zoos in the whole world. Yes, variety is a way of life in West Palm Beach. We are very thankful for our way of life. This is evident on any Sunday morning or at Easter time when everyone gathers at the lakefront to view the colorful Hetzel Easter pageant, a tabloid presentation depicting the death and resurrection of Christ using miniature figurines and settings. And speaking of our way of life here, this is the home of the man who started the whole thing. It is now one of our show places, a museum housing the treasures of two continents which he gathered when he built Whitehall. Henry Morrison Flagler announced to the world not too many years ago, I shall build here a magnificent playground for the people of the nation. So he said, and so he did. But I wonder if even Mr. Flagler could have imagined that West Palm Beach was to become a city of such vitality that his original investment was to be followed by the investment of both money and personal effort of generations to follow him. We are mighty proud of our hospitals, public libraries, and schools, all of which are constantly being expanded. Helping them build strong, healthy bodies and having a good time while they're doing it. It's amazing how they learn so well and how they develop their talents. Some of them are pretty good. you might say that's a pretty good way to measure the value of a community by its investment in the youth. But another thing about our city, it's full of intellectual curiosity and very culture conscious. The Norton Gallery and School of Art is an outstanding example of the desire of the people here to preserve the great works of art and to develop an appreciation of what is great. You don't have to be a serious student to try your hand with a brush or a chisel or music, dancing or dramatics. But so often, some of my friends who start out just for the fun of it are surprised to uncover a hidden talent and open up entirely new avenues of pleasure in living. After all, it's religion, art and science which distinguish man from other animals. West Palm Beach's Science Museum and Planetarium is a growing world of science and art combined where the moon and the sun and the planets take on a special meaning. It's a still life gallery of what we were, what we are, and what we are likely to become. A community like this never stands still. It's always changing for the better. There's always something new going on and something new going up. New schools, libraries, highways, and a spectacular three and a half million dollar municipal auditorium arena designed for conventions, theatrical and national TV productions, ice shows, and sporting events. Economically, we've got a healthy community. Good jobs, lots of them. Money in the bank, that's important. 
And there are plenty of wonderful places to spend it, too. We are the shopping center, as well as the banking center, of this section of the state. We have a number of blue chip companies located here now. RCA, making electronic data processing equipment. Pratt & Whitney, making liquid fuel rocket engines. International Telephone and Telegraph has a plant here, and so does Solatron Devices, among others. There are over 600 light manufacturing and processing establishments in our area, turning out everything from mailboxes and boats to missile components, and processing and packaging citrus products grown nearby. We have one of the finest deep water ports on Florida's east coast, undergoing a multi-million dollar deepening and development program and seven airlines operate from our international airport. There's nothing in this world that quite equals the glamour and the glitter of an opening night at the Royal Poinciana Playhouse. It's enough to make your eyes pop out, all that luxury. It's a time for the sparkling people. It is truly a fabulous showplace and presents a series of plays featuring famous personalities as well as the ballet and other performing arts. Yes, sir. There is plenty of action all over town. Try your luck on a quinella at the beautiful High Life Fronton. Or put a couple of bucks on your favorite pup at the Kennel Club. It's a great way to spend an evening. Well, there is one other thing about West Palm Beach, and it just happens to be the part that I personally like best, and that is the fresh water country. Where else in the world could you skim along at high speeds over the grassy waters of the Everglades without ever leaving the city limits? There's good hunting and fishing out here, and unspoiled natural beauty, and to me, there's nothing like the challenge of the largemouth bass. And that's the way it is in West Palm Beach. Something for everyone, of every age, in every season. A city of variety, a city of opportunity, a city where each day ends with the promise of an even brighter tomorrow. <laughs>